What's up, Lost Ark gamers? Welcome back to another Lost Ark video. Believe it or not, this is still Lost Ark. Um, yeah, honestly, just kind of blew my mind there. But we're in the stronghold as always. Today, we're going to be making another stronghold crafting video. Uh, I've been getting quite a few questions about various things related to stronghold crafting. Things like, oh, do you still craft fusion materials? Is it profitable? How do I know how much profit it is? Do you buy the materials? Do you dig for your materials? Do you fish for your materials? Etc, etc. If you just want the shorthand answer, I'll give it to you right here. Yes, fusion materials is very profitable, at least on NA West. I craft purples and blues, just depends on how I feel. And I typically use fish, though relics have been cheaper in recent times. So if that's all you wanted to hear, alright, smash the video exit button and get out of here. Otherwise, if you could like the video, that'd be dope. Uh, subscribe if you want to see daily Lost Ark content similar to this. But for now, let's jump into this biatch. So, crafting. Let's just open up this menu here. You'll see I'm crafting a bunch of purples right now. Basically, this is just passive income. You don't really have to do jack shit once you click craft and it starts crafting. You'll see here, you have basic arejas and superior arejas. Usually people will refer to these as purples or blues. Blue fusions, purple fusions, these are fusion mats. Green fusions we don't talk about anymore. But you can kind of see down here, it costs some action energy to cost, craft, ugh, rather, some gold to craft, and then obviously materials to craft. You can queue up to 10 at a time in your three different work tables on the crafting workshop. You'll notice that there are a bunch of different sort of modifiers here, like time reduction, crafting cost reduction, action energy reduction, etc etc what is the meta for this well the meta is to get as much as much crafting cost reduction as you possibly can because great success chance i'll explain what great success is in a minute great success chance is um not great is word on the street i'm not entirely sure how the genius has figured out how it works but i trust people smarter than me on the matter so it is what it is but basically you go over here to the manor tab in your stronghold. This is sort of where you can select the structures and outfits that you can equip onto both your stronghold and your manor people to get special effects. So you basically just slap on the best sort of structures you have and the best outfits you have. How do you get outfits? Well, you have to max out the rapport with that NPC. And then you go over to down here, wardrobe, down here, control three, and then you can see pick out these npcs like black thing has these two outfits and you can kind of see what they do on them obviously they change her appearance but they also do special things when equipped in the stronghold so basically you just kind of have to max out the rapport buy the outfit for blue crystals and you get the effect when you equip them obviously pick the effects that you want these are just what i'm running I'm using Artisan Ur and Pela for my two outfits. Pela's Vern, Artisan Ur is one of the Luteras, maybe? I I don't know, man. It's been a minute. Uh, but basically, equip those. And then for structures, you don't have too many options for structures, as structures are just sort of something you have to kind of get sort of as they come, like this... And SML was a purchasable item from the store for blue crystals. Uh, and it was only available during the winter. Will it come back next winter or anytime? I I don't know. I'm, I don't have a crystal ball, man. If I did, Arconomics would be making me rich. And the model SMT-01. This is from buying... I'm not sure if it was only given out with the platinum founders pack but it may have either way i bought the platinum founders pack so it was from a founders pack if not the platinum founders pack so you can't get either of these anymore which is i mean it might be like oh sag sag frog emoji but it's not a huge deal there are plenty of different things that you can use as stop gaps it's not the end of the world uh you can even sort by sort of you can wait, see what you want. So, uh, let's see here. Yep, yeah, crafting. So, like this picture gives you 1% crafting cost reduction, and it's from Masterpiece Collection. 
pretty much things that um come from adventure tomes typically like here let me show you the adventure tome stuff like the Rethramis lion statue it increases crafting or decreases crafting time on bombs and stuff basically just pick and choose the ones that you one can get or two already have and just slap them on because it's better than nothing you can always work towards getting the more limited time stuff as they return slash when new stuff comes out okay let me stop yapping about all that shit after you equip your stronghold with the good stuff how do we look at sort of what kind of profit we're making and how do we determine what to craft and Again, if we're making money or losing money, how much money we're making, etc, etc. So let's pop on over to this tab I have open here. And this tab is a Reddit post that I found from our boy Tepish. Tepish? Tepish? He's on Asta UC. Basically, he made a bunch of different sheets and he shared them. Uh, the sheet that we're going to be focusing on is the Crafting Profit Calculator. You can go to lostarkmarket.com, which is typically the site I use because it auto-populates the API every couple hours and I'm lazy. The spreadsheet is something you have to do entirely manually. I will link both in the description. If you want to know more about the Lost Ark Market calculator, hop into the other video, which I will also link in the description. The last Stronghold video I made. But I'm going to be showing this one. So you just click on the link here, the Google Doc. It'll open up the master copy for uh, Tepish's sheet. So you're going to want to go up here in the top left corner. You're going to click on File, click on Make a Copy, and then save a copy to your Google Drive. Once that is done, you're going to pop on over to something that looks similar to this. I've already filled out some of this stuff, so we don't have to go through it. But basically, it's self-explanatory. The main thing you need to look at is right here. Uh, mostly up here if you're crafting for profit on things if you want to see if battle items are maybe better for profit too make sure you factor those in but basically it walks you through exactly what you need to do I'll briefly go over it though so for all of these percentages basically all you have to do let's hop back on over to the game so for crafting cost reduction so you see on the superior oreja I have a 10% decrease right so let's pop on back over to the sheet and you'll see right here, I have crafting cost reduction set at 10. That's uh, self-explanatory, like I said. Um, really, you just figure out what each of these are and you put the number in. For great success chance, though, let me show you where to find that in here. If you are having some trouble, you go over here to the effects tab on the side here. You just scroll down. And it also shows you all your bonuses here. Basically, I find everything much easier to read over here because it calculates it all together for you. But for crafting great success chance, you have to go over here. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't show it anywhere else except for here. But that's how you find great success chance. And I also remember that I'd never explained what great success is. You have a percentage chance when you make a craft to basically just crit or have a great success, which just makes another entire stack of what you crafted for free. So if I craft a stack of superior Areha fusion material and I get a 5% chance to hit of a great success, then I will get two stacks of 20 superior Arehas for the price of one, essentially just doubling my money in that craft, which is why things can be profitable in combination with crafting cost reduction. That's why it can be very profitable because the average of all these factors Going into it makes profit nice. So let's take a look at the sheet again. The main things you're going to want to look at here is over here on the left side. These are the crafting materials. You're going to want to input the price of your crafting materials. I already did this for fish and ancient relics on my server. I'm not going to do all of these because I'm just doing this as an example to show you guys. And I don't want you to be here all day. And then... Purple Arejas are selling for 33 and blues are selling for 16. So once you have everything set up, you're just going to want to scroll on down because here is where it shows you the profits you'll make. So since I didn't update everything, the only things we're going to want to look at here is you'll see fish and then relics are right under that. For fusion materials, 
So we're going to want to look at blue and purple, blue and purple with relics and fish. So if we take a look here. The trade merchant will leave okay. Soon. Thank you, Adeline. I appreciate you. I'm busy making a video. Please calm down. Um, you can see here it has it nicely listed out how much profit on average you're expected to make. If I'm using fish, I make about 100 gold per hour, which again, keep in mind, you can pretty much have this crafting 24 seven and it's entirely passive. Um, again, entirely passive, zero effort. And then here, if you're using relics, relics are way better right now on NA West, at least. Again, your prices may vary. Use your own prices, please, God. Um, you'll get in about a 200 profit from purple and about a 220 profit from uh, relics. Pretty good. So overall, I think that about does it. TLDR, yes, crafting very profitable, still do. Uh, yeah. That's the video for today. Thank you guys so much for your support as always. Like the video if you like it, dislike it if you just like it. Leave a comment down below letting me know how much money you've made over your lifespan playing this game. Making fusion materials, because God knows I've made a ton. And I guess I'll shill some membership. I really should do it more, but I always feel bad for shilling. Consider becoming a YouTube member to support the channel a little bit extra. It's like a Patreon sub or a Twitch sub. You can cancel it anytime, and of course, it's never required, but it helps. Thumbs up. Love you all. Bye.